Well, hello everyone and welcome to Fantastic Insights where we provide insights from some of the coolest people in franchising. My name is Alicia Visconti. I am your host and also the president and CEO of Franserve and Franchise Dictionary Magazine. Now, Franserve is the largest franchise consulting organization in the world. And our mission is very simple. We help change people's lives through franchise ownership. And we do that through a network of incredible franchisors and franchise consultants, all who are dedicated to helping people like you explore franchise opportunities. Now, today I'm very excited to see I have a, a bunch of people with me. I have the two founders of Forever Young Anti-Aging Solutions. We have Carlton Washington and also uh, Dennis uh, Dougaloo. And also with us is Storm Miller, the Director of Franchise Development. So we're going to jump in. You're going to have some uh, questions answered and we're going we're gonna to rock and roll this. So, you know, I'm going to start off with asking the question and you guys can rotate whatever feels best for you. But I'd love to know a little bit about Forever Young, what it does, what traits make it unique, how it came to be. Um, and I think that's a great place for our audience to start learning about your brand. Okay. Um, thanks for having us. This is My name is Dennis Duglu, co-founder here at Forever Young. So I'll take that first question. Uh, basically, what we are is a vitality center. Uh, we offer uh, hormone replacement, IV vitamin therapy, uh, nutraceutical therapy. We also have the aesthetic side, uh, which is we call it the look your best side. And the, the wellness side is the feel your best side. Uh, on the look your best side, we offer things like Botox, dermal fillers, uh, facials, and skincare products. Um, the reason of why we are what we are uh, is about seven years ago, we saw a void in the industry where there was really no place like us where you could get all of these types of services under one roof. So patients needed to piecemeal these, these types of services and probably visiting multiple, maybe three or four different types of businesses to get all the services they wanted. So in 2014, uh, we came up with this concept, uh, put it together. We opened our first doors in 2014. Uh, for our first corporate location. Second corporate location uh, uh, was in May of 2017. Uh, then we said, let's franchise. Uh, and uh, this is where we are now. Super. And you know, I tell you something, it's a hot market that you're in. We, you know, both the feel good and look good. And I'm sure you've seen that in your experiences. Can you, you know, when you guys share a little bit on that, like what kind of feedback you've been getting in terms of the industry? Um, We've been getting great feedback, honestly. Um, we are growing with the industry. Um, like Dennis said before, um, when we saw a void, um, we kind of felt like it was just us seeing it. But what we actually didn't realize is that we were really kind of getting in at the ground floor of the growing wellness and aesthetics industry combined. Um, and, and the reason we say that is because the manufacturers themselves are pouring more and more and more and more into these services into developing new demographics. And so we're constantly seeing new types of patients that we've never seen before coming in. So we're still kind of at the ground floor this seven and a half years in of, of really a market uh, nationwide and worldwide that hasn't been penetrated yet at all, where we're seeing that these services are now are becoming necessities. They're not just a trend. These are, these are becoming, um, you know, looking good and feeling good is becoming like going to supercuts to get your hair cut. You know, it's, it's one more stop, getting your nails done, go get your IV, make sure your hormones are good, make sure your Botox is great before, you know, before that night out. And that's what we're really seeing. So the response is overwhelming and it, we just happen to, to really get in the industry at, at just the right time where it's, it's really taken off. Well, that's super. And I think that's very true, right? Human beings these days, they want to look good and they want to feel good. So it's, you know, both sides of the coin, so to speak. So I agree. Great timing for everything. And they do say things happen for a reason, right? In terms of timing. So kudos to both of you. Now, I know you're, you're um, you know, expanding in the franchise space. And, and I'm, you know, sometimes when I ask this, I get everywhere which is fine, but are there markets in particular that you're looking for, or is it really nationwide? Or why don't you share a little bit about, um, you know, where you're looking to go over the, over the uh, expansion plans? You want me to handle that one, gentlemen? Sure. So I think there are certainly some hot markets that we have not arrived in yet or that we've sold maybe a license or two, but we know the market can support uh, much more than that. Uh, Atlanta being one of them. Uh, 
Uh, we've sold two licenses uh, in Atlanta, in Buckhead, in Midtown, uh, but we know that the Atlanta and greater Atlanta area uh, can support much more than that. Uh, we've sold out South Florida, uh, but we still have a ton of territory open on the west coast of Florida, particularly in like the Fort Myers and Tampa Bay markets. Wide open territories over there, we'd love to get there. Uh, we started awarded uh, started awarding franchise licenses this past week in Dallas, uh, but very far north of Dallas. Uh, so we know that that's another market that can bear more. Uh, we think Phoenix and Scottsdale are excellent markets. Nashville, Charlotte, um, New York City, once we are registered there, uh, is another place we want to be. Uh, we're going to begin building a pretty strong brand presence in North Jersey. Uh, we've awarded a bunch of franchise licenses up that way, but certainly markets uh, out there with wide open territories we want to be in. Awesome. And let's talk a little bit now. We talked about expansion. So it sounds great, audience. If you're thinking about, you know, where you might want to be with this, it sounds like there's a lot of territory available, which is always wonderful. Let's talk a little bit about the traits you look for in a successful franchise owner for your brand. You know, what, what if you had to list them, so to speak, or what are the traits? What do you look for when you're bringing on and awarding a, a franchise to someone? I'll let Dennis and Carlton cover that first part and I'll probably add on to that. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I mean, we'd like to see that the, the, the franchisee is uh, at least passionate about one side of the practice, either the look your best or, your, or the feel your best. Um, uh, great, uh, you know, the good people person, uh, you know, because I think in this business too, it's a lot about relationships uh, because you, once you do open, you need to create those relationships within your community to you know attract new clientele and and so those type of things really are the most important i would say for me super I'll also jump in and, and you know just the ability to uh, to buy in i mean we, we we've created a, a business in a box model uh for for someone with a, a great deal of detail to follow and so you know uh if they have the passion to be successful and and the ability to follow the process and someone who wants to follow a process and really take out the hurdles out of this business that's what we're really providing. So uh, in addition to the things that Dennis said, um, that is a really good thing to have someone that's willing to trust the process. And also uh, that may have something to add to the table, some sort of business acumen that maybe we don't even have. Um, we find that with our franchisees, that makes us a lot stronger. They bring in you know, great ideas um, to, to add to the pot and, and we've really benefited from that. So business acumen, the passion for, like you said, one side of the business or other, and just you know, really the uh, desire to succeed and follow a process. Someone who's truly looking for a franchise model to follow. Super, and Storm, do you wanna well comment as well? Yeah, there, there's one thing I would add to that. And I think this is part of the reason the brand has been viewed as so franchise consultant friendly is that so many of our franchisees that we're bringing into the system right now are already franchisees of other systems. So we have Club Pilates franchisees that own Forever Young. We have people from Orange Theory Fitness, Retro Fitness, European Wax Centers, Unike Wax, Lash Lounge. Uh, a lot of the people that are showing so much interest in this brand recognize the upside of it, have invested into other brands, and are looking to kind of diversify the portfolio. So we have a lot of consultants who are going back through their prior placements, uh, speaking with franchisees they still have a relationship with, and then showing this concept as well. Uh, I thought that was something that was really interesting uh, about the brand when, when we first uh, stepped into kind of that development role. Yeah, I think that's great. And also, Carlton, to pick up on what you said, you know, when you said, and, and Storm, it relates to what you just mentioned, that sometimes, you know, you you're, are an emerging brand, you're, you're a new brand, you can get some feedback. And working with people who already experienced franchisees can also help build that family and that uh, process together. So that's really great that you mentioned that. Now, the one thing I didn't hear, gentlemen, from any of you was that you needed to have a medical background or you needed to have, you know, licensing for being a... Did, did, would, would the owner need to have something like that? No, it's not necessary, uh, although it could be helpful uh, because each location does eventually need to have a medical director that they would hire a, a doctor, but and they could be their own medical director, but not necessary. Carlton and I have no medical backgrounds uh, and own two corporate stores here in South Florida. 
Yeah, and I just want to reiterate that because I think there's a lot of people, you know, who just have an aha moment on something like that because they're interested, they're thinking, but they're like, well, I don't have any medical training. You know, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. But see that you can hire the person that's needed in that place. The owner doesn't necessarily have to have that. Is that correct, gentlemen? Do I have that right? Correct. Okay. That is correct. Yeah, have, that's like, a big point. Go ahead, Storm. That's a big point. Yeah, we, we have a blueprint for what it would actually take to operate one of these clinics uh, in just about any state in America. Uh, so that is something that we take all of our candidates through in the discovery process. We're very thorough, we're very transparent about that up front because we'd like for our candidates to have that comfortability with how we actually set this business up. Uh, but that is something that we've vetted uh, and it's something that we figured out we have a blueprint for that. Wonderful, well, I appreciate that. Now. Let's go a little bit deeper and talk about one of my favorite hashtags that I use on social media. I'm probably guilty of using this hashtag uh, more so than even the hashtags for my company. And that is hashtag of franchise strong. Now, when I think of franchise strong, I always think of the family of franchising, right? We call it the franchise fam. We, you know, we, we really do feel that as you know, the, the waters rise, all the you know, ships elevate. So, you know, we've seen it, you know, when, when times are great, when times are rough, you know, the, the family of franchising comes together always with the purpose of helping people to, you know, have that ownership to change their lives, to reset what their futures are going to be through franchise ownership and I I'd love to hear gentlemen from each of you you know what does franchise strong mean to you and also in terms of what it means to the brand for me franchise strong I would have to say it's like the like the saying um, power and numbers you know type of thing uh, the more of us there are the more our brand spreads um, but I, I like to always think of all of our franchisees as like family like we're, we want them to know that we're always there for them, whatever they need, any kind of support they need. Um, many of them have our cell phone numbers and text us. So uh, we're always here to help as much as we can. And I think just that unity uh, and, 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 and having them help us spread this brand nationwide um, is what I think of when I think of Franchise Strong. I love it. That's great. And, and Carlton, your thoughts? Yeah, I'm sorry to sound redundant, but I think that's the only way to answer the question, especially as it pertains to Forever Young. Um, we are stronger together. And before even getting this question, every single one of our calls that is stressed, every single one of our meetings that's stressed with our franchisees, that um, when we're working together, that's how we dominate. That's how we grow. And, uh, and when we're not, that's, that's how we fail. So a franchise, the, the whole point of franchising is to be strong and to be strong in numbers. You want the strong branding, you want the strong support, and you want the strong um, you know, uh, dominance as far as your industry is concerned. And, 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 and that's what we're offering here at Forever Young. Uh, that's the only way to do it. And I think that's the only way to answer the question. That's awesome. You know, it is that, you know, being business for yourself, but not by yourself, right? The whole concept of having training and operations and support. And I'm, I'm sure, Storm, you agree, correct? Absolutely. They hit it on the head. Yep, absolutely. You know, I want to thank you, gentlemen. I know we're all busy and I, and I appreciate your time and your fantastic insights. Audience, thank you for your time. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our videos. And gentlemen, I'm just going to turn it over uh, for just some final words before we wrap up both to Carlton and uh, Dennis. Again, if you would like to just have a few words before we wrap up. Uh, sure. I mean, uh, just a few words of thank you to Franserve. I believe we have placed uh, candidates from the company. We've been with you guys for a while when we started we were with COVID, but um, that was kind of a rocky road for everyone. But, you know, now we've had some success and, uh, you know, we're just looking forward to engaging your candidates. Um, this is uh, a very exciting franchise, especially in comparison to, you know, some other other ones that are out there. I mean, we're not, you know, your typical like, uh, you know, uh, carpet cleaning franchise or painting franchise. We're actually something that, you know, uh, where there's a lot of passion involved, where somebody might be like, wow, this is like perfect for my lifestyle. And, and it also pays a lot in dividends and rewards um, to your health, uh, your well-being, um, you know, and, and to your community. So uh, we're really proud of that. And we think that's something that differentiates us from, from other uh, concepts out there right now. Wonderful. Thank you. And Dennis, I'm just going to turn it over to you and then we'll 
we'll uh, wrap up. Yeah, I, I would just want to say thank you to Franser also for having us. Uh, and like Carlton said, I, I think this is an exciting space. Uh, it's it's something somewhat new, and I think it's the future of medicine uh, because a lot of things that we do here is preventative, uh, and that is the direction that the medical uh, field is moving into. Uh, so I think this is something here to stay for a very long time, and this is just the beginning of it. So we're we're looking forward to uh, you know uh, speaking with some of your candidates and and getting some deals done. Well, wonderful. And thank you very much. And Storm, always a pleasure to see you. I can't wait till, gentlemen, we're all in person again. That's, that's just right around the corner. So looking forward to that. And thank you, audience, for your time. And I just have to say it, everyone, have a fantastic day. Thank you.